Hello Dairy Today viewers. On behalf of the Market 360 Advisory Team here at Stuart Peterson, I'm Tom Mongovan and this is your Week in Review for the week of August 10th, 2012. First let's take a look at our CME dairy components. Big week in cheese this week as we had a lot of activity, a lot of buying interest. Block settled up 14.5 cents to 185.5. Barrels up 13.5 cents to 182, bringing the block barrel average up 14 cents on the week. Butter up to 175, way down slightly, and non-fat dry milk up as well. Taking a look at our closes from Friday afternoon, we see a positive week for milk prices. Fourth quarter prices settled higher Monday through Thursday, and then finished out the week today, settling down between six and 13 cents. But on the week, as we mentioned, we did see gains. August, now it's in front month, Territory up 15 cents to 1764. September up 40 cents on the week. October through December up anywhere between 25 and 54 cents on the week. The USDA supply and demand report was released this morning. Just to give you a quick synopsis, the USDA estimated the corn yield at 123.4 versus pre report estimates of 127. And they have ending stocks estimated at 650 million bushels, which is about 10 million bushels less than the pre-report estimates. On the soybean side, the yield estimate came in at 36.1 versus pre-report estimates of 38. And they estimated ending stocks for the 2012-2013 crop year at 115 million bushels, pretty much in line with expectations. Before the close on Friday, again, these aren't official closes, uh, when I came down here to re record this video, Corn was down, wheat was down, and soybeans were up. Again, those are not official closes. Here we have that block barrel average on a weekly chart. And although last week we were worried that the trend was rolling over and possibly trending negative, uh, those worries were erased after this week's trade. The block barrel average was up sharply Monday through Wednesday and then remained unchanged Thursday and Friday to settle at one spot, 8375, up 14 cents on a week. There were four blocks traded this morning, along with 19 barrels, but the price remained steady. We are now at a 22 cent premium to Oceana Cheddar, and this is the largest premium since November of 2008. This is definitely something to keep an eye on. Taking a look at the September chart for milk, uh, drawing in the current support and resistance levels that we are watching. On the support side, we're watching 1807, because we have a double bottom down here. There's one and there's the other, and double bottoms are usually pretty reliable technical support, so we will be watching that. On the top side, watching 1971, which as you can see from right here is the high from July, so in order to see more upside in milk prices, we would need to see a close above 1971. The latest weekly cold storage figure was released earlier this week, and it showed that inventory fell to a new low for 2012. Cheese and select storage facilities decreased 3.7 million pounds over the latest week ended August 6th. Current inventory at 127.25 million pounds is about 6.2% less than this week last year. Stocks and storage are now below 2009 and 2010 levels for the first time this year. In fact, the last time stocks fell below 2009 levels was October of last year. We will get to see more confirmation of this trend next Friday, a week from today, when the milk produc production report comes out. Here we have the weekly dairy cow slaughter chart, and although there was a slight pullback from the previous week, uh, these numbers are still strong. A total of 55,900 head were slaughtered in the latest data from the week of July 28th. Year over year, 2012 is still 4.6% higher than 2011, and we should continue to see high slaughter numbers if feed prices stay where they are. U.S. dairy product exports for the month of June uh, were released on Thursday, and they totaled 159,308 tons. This is down 10% from the previous month, but up 8%, 8.7% year over year. As I bring down the year over year changes from this year, you can see that 8.7% increase in June is the smallest increase uh, since the month of March when exports increased 4.7% year over year. We can expect this number to continue trending lower if we stay at such a large premium to Oceana prices as we run the risk of pricing ourselves out of the export market. 
Looking ahead to next week, uh, as I mentioned, we do have that milk production report coming out on Friday, August 17th. A lot of people looking for a low number and that could uh, further support milk prices. And second, we'll get to see if cheese will continue its trend higher as that was the main catalyst for driving milk prices higher this week. That will do it for us here. On behalf of your Market 360 advisory team here at Stuart Peterson, I'm Tom Mongovan. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.